I am thrilled to present to you Coincidencia. This is my coincidence routine. After shuffling the cards legitimately, cutting the cards legitimately, selected cards match randomly from the, the pack. You know there's an absolute danger when you play cards with Joshua. Did you know this? I, I asked him to play a game of cut the high card. He didn't take chances. It's a terrible thing. However, it did actually provide a benefit for me. I found an, a magic effect that I can do with a deck of cards that have been cut in half. And we're going to start by shuffling the deck up so that you know um, there's not any particular order. I'm not particularly great at shuffling, but at least it, it shows us that we're starting honest. Um, so if you'd be so kind, I'd like you to take out any card you'd like from the deck, but don't look at it, just slide it off to the side. Any one. Why that one? <laughs> you like that one? Fair enough. And um, normally I'd have another audience member selected, but since you're so convenient and so kind, I'd like you to touch any other card. That one there? This one's better. I knew I picked the wrong person. <laughs> Would you be impressed if this card was close to that card? Well, at the moment it is, <laughs> but let's see if the value is actually close. In this case, it happens to be a diamond, a, a number card, and a nine of diamonds. Do you think you got close? Uh, I'm feeling kind of lucky. If I were you, I'd consider playing the lottery, because if you had selected a card even one card away, you'd end up on the Jack of Hearts. Maybe that was just a coincidence. So let's give it another try. I'll give the cards another cut, and I'll give them another shuffle. That way you can see I'm not starting out with any extra help. And I'm going to have you do it this time because if, if I do it, you might again think I'm cheating. So cut the deck and complete the cut. And you can do that as many times as you want. Just remember on camera, time expands like infinity. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Look at the top card. If you like that card, you can stick with it. Otherwise, we can have you select a different one. It's your choice. I like this card. Fantastic. Now, I want you to slide that into the deck anywhere you want, but it's important not to put it all the way in. So, in other words, leave it sticking out about halfway. Okay. Actually, but you know what? To, to make it clearer, I'm going to paste that face up because if it's face down, it might get lost amongst the other cards. Okay. Now, you cut the cards, not in a particular place. You selected the top card and you liked it, you could have changed to another. And you placed it into the pack anywhere you wanted. Let's take a look. Now, if, if you had cut and put that card a little bit higher, you would have got the Ten of Spades. If you had put that card into the pack one card lower, you would end up next to the King of Spades. But instead, you placed it right next to this half, which in this case happens to be the other Queen of Hearts. Perhaps another coincidence. So let's see if we can um, verify that none of this is just a raw coincidence. Let's give the pack one more cut and yet one more shuffle. And this time I'm going to deal the cards out in the order that fate has decided to put them in because I don't have control of the cards. This is something that fate or chance, whatever you'd like to call it, has uh, left us with. So I'm going to deal the cards down one by one, but into two piles. And you can see I'm not changing the order. So this is exactly as fate or, or chance has decided. Fair? Fair. We also need to have a card selected. So and instead of me doing, going through or having you cut cards, I want you to get a card that you really like. So I will spread them all out. You can shoot, take it out. Okay. Okay. If you'd like, you can change it for any of the other cards. It's your choice. Uh, no, I'm good. Good. Um, place it back face up. Okay. The other, yep. And I'll square these back. After the shuffles, after all of the cuts, you would not anticipate that these cards would be the same, and they're not. If we look at the next pair of cards, again, no coincidence whatsoever. Ah, now here, this, this is very interesting. Kings are very close to aces, especially if you're playing in you know, uh, blackjack, you'd rather have like something like this. They're both spades. Now that is a coincidence. We look, the, ah, now look, another uh, set of spades, but not the same value. They're a little bit farther apart, so less of a coincidence. We look, oh, now two aces but the wrong suits. We keep on going, you notice that sometimes there's a little bit of a coincidence and sometimes none at all. But you ended up selecting the King of Hearts. You didn't want any of the other cards. 
And after all of the shuffles, wouldn't it be really odd that if the King of Hearts with the other half of the other shuffle deck matched, now that is a coincidence. Now I realize that after doing this, it looks like coincidences are just happening everywhere. It could also be that this is magic. If it was magic, I wouldn't have to worry about coincidence. I'd just make it work. After all of the shuffles, after all the cuts, magic would make these two cards match. So we have both the tens of diamonds. The next, the nine of hearts is exactly the same, then the king of spades, then the queen of spades, then the ace of spades, then the ten of spades, then the ace of hearts, the jack of hearts, the nine of clubs, and finally, the jack of clubs. And that is coincidencia.